Hamilton Tiger Cats face off against the Montreal Alouettes on Friday. I'm here with the Specs, Steve Milton and Steve. Uh, let's talk about the Alouettes first because they've made the most news this week. Uh, they are essentially playing for their season, and there's a bunch of turmoil between players, and there were shoving matches. Uh, what do you expect from the Alouettes after all that? I expect a team that's dangerous. Right? They'll come out hard early. I think. I don't think they'll have a lot of fight in them if you can get them down early. I mean, that's generally what happens. Don't let a team like that that's already suspecting itself, a uh, civil war going on, you should extend the civil war. So the Ticats have to come out and do well against them early. And that, that's my feeling. You let them hang around, they're, they're going to be very dangerous. The Ticats, meanwhile, are coming off a loss to the Toronto Alouettes. Uh, talking to the guys uh, after the walkthrough today, they're pissed. Like they're they're angry with the way they played in Toronto. Yeah. They're actually happy to be playing on a short week. They want to get back at it. Yeah, I think that that's probably good for them in that sense to have it sort of sticking in their craw. You got to watch you don't overplay. I mean that that's always a danger when you feel like you you've got something uh, something to prove. Um, and as you and I were mentioning uh, all week, basically. A lot of what Montreal does that they can do well, if some of the things that they can do well don't necessarily fit uh, positively for what the tie cats aren't doing doing well at the moment, and and that's where they got to pull up. I and mean, it really, I mean, the left side of the line. Yeah, I think the biggest concern if you're the Hamilton Tire Cats for this week is the fact that you're going to start uh, a left tackle and a left guard making their first CFL starts and you're missing CJ Gable who helps out in pass protection tremendously right. you know Terrence Campbell who's going to make his first CFL start is going up against John Bowman right. who's 10th or 9th all time in sacks in the league that's still has some stuff. Still that's still a concern stuff. he still has some jam it's definitely a concern and then then you say okay well let's back him up with a running back well it's not CJ Gable it's Sherman so you know and he wouldn't be here if they didn't think he could do the job but that's obviously going to be a, a point of contention there and I really expect to see and I didn't see anything based on practice on this this week but I really expect to see them bolster that up on the left side whether they have a blocking back in there say somebody like Prime or whether they put Prime there to play tight end just to have a little more help with with Bowman there whatever we see it's incumbent upon uh, Caleros to get rid of the ball quick early and then then you're going to stop that flood a little bit you're, you've got to caution the flood because Montreal has nothing to lose as you say they're playing for their lives uh, Pop is coaching for his coaching job I don't know about the GM job the quarterback uh, he's punched a guy you know taking a swing at a guy in practice so he's playing in a, in a way for his job and for for his future so they're going to come out come out hard and 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 particularly defensively they're going to come hard so I think you've got to counter that with a lot of short stuff early and then they'll drop back into a situation where you can handle them better. Make sure you check out uh, Friday Spectator for a full game preview as well as three donation for all the up to the minute CFL news reporting from Tim Hortons Field with Steve Milton. I'm Drew Edwards.